hi guys, my name is Rarita Artist. Look at this wave. What's this? What's this? I'm waving like I just learned how to use my fingers yesterday. <laughs> Imagine if you were out in public on a train and like somebody looking at you and you looking at them and then they wave at you like this. You're gonna be like, I'm gonna call the police. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Rice Artista and welcome to my channel. It was really hot in here. It's really hot in here. You need to leave. I want to first of all say that guys, we have a family of over 15, over 15,000 subscribers. I know, right? I'm literally like, they love me. They really love me. Who are you guys? Where are you from? How do you guys exist? Who are you? Now I'm getting real paranoid. Like, who are you? Who are you? Tell me who you are right now. It's really unbelievable to think that there's 15,000 of y'all that are like, you know what? I like this girl. I don't want to see what she creates. And I'm just like, mommy, daddy, they love me. No, but for real, I was trying to make a celebratory video for every subscriber milestone, but my subscribers were growing faster than I could record because I had already recorded a video literally last week and I was at 2000 subscribers. At the time of recording this, I currently have 2,541 subscribers. So I think I'm gonna have 3000 by then, which is crazy. Literally in a span of three days, you guys have actually changed my life. So then today we're at 15,000 and I'm just like, you know what, I'm just gonna group it all together and we're just gonna celebrate all 15,000 of y'all plus. And then the next time I'm gonna do another one is 20,000, which should honestly be like next week. But honestly, like, I just wanna say like, first of all, thank you all so much, so much on the bottom of my heart, okay? From the bottom of me corazón, okay? Corazón is heart, right? Man, all them seven years of Spanish class did me no justice. Let me Google this real quick. Corazón, I was right, baby. Give me a round of applause, clap for me. I'm smart, babe, I'm, I'm educated. Um, I'm, 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 I'm talented, I'm smart. I don't even know where to begin. Um, I just really want to say like, thank you guys so much for subscribing and commenting and liking my videos and recommending and talking. Like, I just, I am literally in love with you guys. Like, you guys are all going to be my Valentine, okay? That's a lot of Valentines, baby. I got commitment issues, I can't do it. Um, I just want to say like, first and foremost, before we go any further, I kind of want you guys to know who you're subscribing to because it's like, sometimes you sub subscribe to people and not know that they're in their backyard like sacrificing cats on a weekend. Like, that's that's not no like you don't know till like three years down the line and you're like i, I, I signed, signed up for what? what you need to understand who you are subscribed to so i kind of figure like let me introduce myself all over again but the second time the last time i did a video like this was seven years ago okay but it's worth it this time for the second time who i am what i stand for what i believe in my goal for youtube my goal for us as a community and what i aspire to do here on the internet um grab your seats grab your popcorn grab your cookies there are plenty of seats everybody have a seat not you jimmy not you let's let's get to know each other okay okay so for one i'm a professional weirdo okay i am weird as heck i've always been weird i'm never gonna not be weird oh by the way i might have this thing called adhd so like my thoughts are all over the place but it's like that's my superpower and there's nothing wrong with you like my daddy said there's nothing wrong with me so if my daddy said it then it's true now who is rice artista i might start stripping over here because it's really really hot and i'm not trying to i'm not trying to have y'all have a good time on my expense but like y'all might have to see a little something something <laughs> My name is Raisa, yes, Artista. I copped that name on every single platform. I knew that I was going to be pretty known my whole life. So when I was young, like really, really young, I wanted a name that I would stick to for the rest of my life. Yeah, I know, like literally talk about speaking things into existence. This is what it means. Okay, I was very delusional back then, but like there's no such thing as delusional if you know it in your heart and you feel it and you it's aspire. Believe it or not, I am African. <gasps> I was born and raised in Cameroon, Africa, West Central, West Side. Let's get it. Where are all my Cameroonians at? Yeah, we don't really seem to exist. Everyone's like, are Nigerian? I'm like, no, Cameroonian. What are you doing? <laughs> don't offend me. I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. I love all my Cameroonians. I love all my Africans. I love everybody. I love everybody. But yes, um, I'm 27. Believe it or not. I know, right, girl? 
They're like 27. Mm. I don't know if that mm, is a good or a bad thing, but mm. <laughs> 27. Yeah, this is what a 27 year old is. To be honest with you, I kid you not. Yes, I'm 27 in theory. In theory, I'm 27, but in here, I'm like 12, okay? I got the, I never grew up. I still feel like a kid. Like if I were to get pregnant today, I wouldn't even tell my parents, like I'd be scared. <laughs> I'm almost pushing 30, like I would feel like it was a teen pregnancy. I feel like I'm still in school, like high school, like I can't. I never grew up, I have never grown up and I aspire to never grow up, okay? I wanna be a kid for the rest of my life and I have literally, I don't wanna grow up, I never wanna grow up. Do not grow up, it's a scam. Like I promise you, all of y'all that are like, I wanna grow up, I wanna be an adult. Don't do it, you heard it from me here, don't do it. Every adult is miserable. They all want to be kids again. They don't know how to smile. They don't know how to crack jokes. They're too serious all the time. And like, you don't, you, no, don't do it. Don't come to this side. This is the dark side. This is where Darth Vader lives. Stay on the light. Go with Luke Skywalker. That was such a nerdy pun, but it's the truth. Who is Raisa Artista? Raisa Artista is she. Raisa Artista is a creative person who just loves to make people laugh. She uses all of her gifts in the most unique and most creative ways that she can muster up in her head just to invoke laughter. Like Raisa Artista is just somebody who just has a very unique brain and has a very unique way of seeing the world and seeing things and she wants to share it with the rest of the world. Raisa Artista is an artist. Um, I, didn't, I, I knew that I wanted to be known for something but I wanted my name, the name that I'm called to represent who I am and I'm an artist. Downright every single thing about me is art. Yeah, I'm an artist, so Raisa Artista. I wanted a name that was catchy. I wanted a name that like that, that could rhyme. I wanted a name that looked good on like a billboard. I wanted a name that looked good on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like I just wanted a really catchy name. I have honestly, believe it or not, you might just be seeing me now, but I have been on YouTube for so I have been on YouTube longer than a lot of you people y'all have been alive. Believe it or not, yes, I've been on YouTube for a very long time. I have had so many channels, some that are successful and some that are not so successful. But deep down in my heart, when I was running all these channels, I didn't feel like I was myself. I didn't feel like I was true to who I really am. I'm an artist professionally. Now I can actually say that, but before I was very scared to say I was an artist because as you know, as Africans, we can only be doctors, lawyers, and engineers. So when I was growing up, I was told, there's no money in the art field. And so I was absolutely scared out of my mind to ever pursue art or anything art related. So I spent my whole life being miserable because I was chasing a dream or a life or a career path that had nothing to do with me. Why the heck was I doing nursing? Do I look like a nurse? I'm gonna be cracking jokes in the operation room like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like I can't do it like I can't do it like I can't do it I wanted to be on camera so much so that when I first got my big girl adult job and I got health insurance the first thing I did was get my teeth done I've been trying to make people laugh ever since I could get in front of a camera matter of fact matter of fact let's be real let's be real let's be real I literally got braces just so I could be a lot more confident in front of the camera because I've been doing this for a long no, no, periodically time, baby. You know, I got braces because I knew I was supposed to be on camera. I just wanted to be very confident with my smile and what I give people. With or without busted up grills, bro, I was going to smile, okay? This is what I be saying, like, you got to be the Lulu from the beginning. For those of you still watching at this point, I want you to comment cookies. I'm pretty sure people in the comments are going to be like, why is everybody commenting cookies? Don't worry about it. Maybe if you watch the video all the way, you would know. What did I say? I was 26. I'm an artist. Oh yeah. Like for the first time in my life, I finally decided that I wanted to follow my own dreams. I didn't want to live a life that people um, curated for me because that's ghetto. Like I don't like that. I decided that I wanted to live life that was true to me. And so I quit my corporate job, um, which I literally have two videos talking about it. Like why I quit my job and I wanted to focus on me and be like myself. This is why I always tell people like you need to follow your dreams, follow your heart because where you're meant to be will always make room for you and if there's no room make room for yourself okay because you belong wherever you feel you, your heart desires wherever you feel at peace wherever you, wherever you feel whole wherever you feel complete wherever you feel wanted that's where you just you, you need to be do not go into a field that you're going to be struggling every day your mental health is going to be in the gutter you're going to be digging your brain cells out the trash can every morning before you go to work we're not going to do that we need to wake up every morning being like yes i love life and i love my job i don't know i don't really know a lot of adults that are like yeah i love my job every adult i met is like i hate my job I can't wait to leave. I can't wait to quit. And I was like, I don't want to be a part of that. Like, I don't want to take part in any of that. Like, I don't, I don't want it. I don't want that free sample, please. 
I don't want that. You know what I mean? Like, keep it. Uh, I never got the time to really sit there and be like, yeah, this is me as an adult. This is what I want. This is who I am. This is what I like. Because I was busy working like a dog. Caught me on a leash 24 7. I, I can't do it. I didn't have the time to think for myself. So then I finally quit and I was able to think for myself. Um, and yeah, and the rest is history. And um, honestly, this whole YouTube thing is honestly to make my childhood self happy. When I was younger, I always wanted to be a YouTuber. I don't know why it was always a thing um yeah like i was like alive when youtube was invented i didn't know that youtubing was a thing or could be a career path i just knew that i wanted to be in front of the camera and i just wanted to make people laugh that was honestly like my heart's desire my heart's content like i just wanted to make people laugh because there's just uh, i felt like the state of the world the world has become such a interesting place in 2024 and on and so it's like if i can do my part before i leave this world this planet what impact do i want to have i want to be known as somebody that made people laugh um is that saying i wanted to be a comedian i don't know i don't really think i have the balls or the prowess to be a comedian but i did try it though speaking of which i did do a comedy <laughs> The reason why I do YouTube and the reason why I want to continue to do YouTube and what I want to offer is I want to give people a safe place where they know, like I want to have the same effect that certain YouTubers had on me growing up. Um, Swoozy, Superwoman II, Nigahiga, um, there was a bunch, there was a couple other, I don't remember exactly who, but I remember there were times where I would literally come back home from school turn on youtube so i could watch these people and one thing i realized about the people that i really 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 liked as uh liked growing up were youtubers who were funny in their own way and they also did not curse in their videos hence why i don't curse in my videos i figure that if they could make a name for themselves and you know kids watch their videos honestly are you a good influence and i love like despite what anybody says about superwoman i loved her i absolutely loved her I thought she was absolutely hilarious, okay? I thought she was funny. I loved her sense of humor. I think she's very witty, but it's the same way with my sense of humor. Like there's only a set, certain set of people that understand or get my sense of humor, and that's who I make content for. I don't make content for everybody else. I make content for, like, for a specific set of people, and that's the people that I really, really like aspire to make sure that like, whatever happens, I wanna make sure that if you've had a bad day, you can come to this channel and know that you're going to laugh. Like, I'm going to put a smile on your face. I'm going to say something that's going to make, like, I'm just going to say something that we, we know what we're talking about. You know what I mean? Like, this, we got, we got a, like, telepathy thing going on. I just, like, I just like being a positive influence. Like, I don't like a negativity on the internet. There's already so much negativity out there. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm an internet hippie, okay? I want sunshines, rainbows, peace, and flowers, okay? That's all I want. And I'm very fond of deleting negative comments. Like, I will let some comments stay out there because that's just the real world. That's reality. That's life. Not everything's going to be peachy and, and, and rainbows and sunshine, but there's some comments that are like really decide divisive divisive decisive divisive that's the word right chat with my dictionary that i'm just like nah bro i don't like anything that's gonna cause people to feel less than that's gonna cause people to feel divided i don't want anybody to feel like they don't belong i don't care what your background is what your race is what anything i don't care what you identify as i want you to strip all of that off when you come to my channel and just be a human being i want to connect with you as a human to human scrap all the other titles I don't care about all that stuff. I don't care what you believe in. I don't care who you support. I don't care about none of that. I just want to connect with you as a human to human, knowing that we are in this together. We are rocking this thing together. Now that we've reached this threshold, I want you to comment um, Animal Crossing in the comments because the next fun fact about me is I love to game. I love gaming. I told you, like I never grew up. I might be 27 in theory, but I'm not 27 in practice. This is my Switch case. I got the Animal Crossing edition. I don't know if you can tell if you can see that like look at that like look at that but yes i love gaming like i just love video games and to the point where like i also create video games i know right she got brains babes but um yeah i love gaming um what else about me I want to inspire people to follow the career path and the tra life trajectory that they feel is pure and like true to themselves in their heart, regardless of what anybody says. Says if anybody, if you want to be an artist and somebody tells you, "Oh, there's no money in the art field," 
I will tell you otherwise. So go to school for whatever your heart desires. Just kind of be very smart about it. I always say that if you want to go to school for an unconventional career path, always mix it with tech. If you mix it with tech, there's room there for you. I uh, have my college degree. So your girl is smart too. She got beauty, brains, she got a thick booty. Like she just, she, she's everything at this point. She's just not married and she don't have kids, but it's, we're going to speak it into existence. So I went to school for digital media and web technology when my specialization is in augmented reality and virtual reality. Yeah. So AKA I make virtual reality video games. Boom. I bet you didn't think that. I bet you didn't know that. Anyway, I think that's enough. I think that's enough information about, I'm so ashy, bro. I'm scratching myself. You can probably hear this ASMR in the microphone. And we made it this far. So yes, comment down below if you have any questions, anything you want to know about me. I just want to like, you know, I just, I just, I'm just an open book at this point. Okay. I want to build a really strong community of people that are just here for the positive vibes, here for the laughter, here for the jokes, here for the candor, like just here for the good stuff. Okay. Yeah. Another thing about me is I'm also a Christian. So like, I, you know, live my life by certain principles and whatnot 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 but despite that um i always put people first i always put people first i'll never not people put, put people first that is literally part of being a christian is that you put other people first your job is to serve others and i hope that that's what i can do with this platform i hope to be a positive influence i hope to be a positive voice i hope to be a light in the dark i hope to be a beacon of hope a beacon of faith a beacon of light a beacon of beacon of beacon of beacon of yeah thank you for watching thank you for subscribing i hope to make more videos i hope to make you laugh 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 some more and then like laugh and cry and then laugh some more and then cry and laugh and then cry and then i laugh again and then cry and then laugh home and then cry again and then they'll be like why are you crying you're like oh my god this girl on youtube and you're like who it's girl and you're like raise artista and you're like why raise artista and i'm like yeah that's a cool name I'm like yeah i know right and so it's like yeah she's an artist and I'm like yeah she's actually an artist like really really that's cool like yeah i know right look at the video she made you're like what kind of videos does she make she makes a bunch of like cartoony animation videos and stuff like that I'm like really that she makes that kind of videos i'm like yeah like you should check her out you should probably like and subscribe to her channel yeah right <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching my video my peace in oreos bye